if you remember I got the drums freed up on the uh, 56 Beetle, but I had a problem with getting the transmission to turn. And later when I attempted to rip out the engine, and yes, that's what it took, I had to actually rip the engine out after three days of work, I discovered that the uh, engine was not only fused to the transmission, the, the cases were actually fused on the bottom, but the uh, clutch was also fused to the input shaft right there in the middle. That disc you see is the, actually the inside of the clutch. So the clutch exploded when I was pulling the motor out. It took three days of uh, hammering, cursing, swearing, and prying. And once I got everything apart, I discovered the transmission was junk anyway, so I really didn't do it any damage that it didn't have already. So, we're not going to miss that too terribly. Um, but the transmission wouldn't turn, therefore the rear drums wouldn't turn, even though I did have the drums free. So I built what you see underneath here, kind of like rollerblades, <laughs> rollerblade dolly. I used some old wheels that I had um, from a body dolly that I was pushing around the yard, but I had a problem with them holding air, as you can see, that one got flat. But uh, I got the job done. Uh, I got the hold air long enough that I was able to move the car out of the driveway so code enforcement wouldn't come over and uh, give me a hard time about having an ugly old nasty car collapsing in my driveway, which I've been working on. And yes, code enforcement does do that. I have never had a run-in with them, however, because I always keep things pretty tidy around here, uh, especially up in the front yard anyway. The uh, backyard's a different story. <laughs> But what you see from the street, my house looks like anybody else's. But uh, yeah, those are my rollerblades. So I got the car rolling. I got the front tires to hold air uh, for almost a week, actually. So they did pretty well. And uh, we got the thing pushed back here. And, and it pushed quite easily. It pushed quite easily. Once that motor was out, the car gets really light. And those little wheels with air in them, they didn't have much of a problem rolling over uh, the terrain back here to get the car to where it's at. So I'm satisfied with that. But we'll be doing some more updates on this soon. Stay tuned.